So it's another beautiful day today, uh, July 6th. Danger, danger, danger day, right? <laughs> this is the danger day. So as we go back through time, we have seen historically that uh, this is a very, very dangerous time in crypto. We see that, uh, that a lot of times we get a trend change at this particular time and junction. So what we're looking for here is a, this is, this is in fact one I think one of the more volatile sixth that we have seen because we are in the squeeze right now. Uh, if you guys do look at the, uh, at my chart that I posted up right now, this is what I put live in our uh, members chat last night. You know, I hate to say it, but I am voting against the longs at this time. I did open a small long and a small short. Uh, I have a half of a BTC, which is not much. I have a very, very small position opened up uh, as a short position. My stop loss, I, this has been up here. I've had this chart for since last night. My stop loss, I had the looser version of stop loss, which is the 6,700. Uh, so it's just kind of camping up there, chilling, just waiting. And uh, so that's what we're, so right now I'm just, I'm, I'm just waiting just like everybody else here. We are a matter of where we are four hours from this candle closing. So we're four hours away. Uh, when you do break this chart down into smaller increments, so if you take this down, you rip it down to the four hour chart, right? Here's our four hour chart right here. So when I pull this down to the four hour chart, what I do see is I see a, a, a wedge. So we have a wedge formed. Let me make this a little bit bigger here. So I see this wedged formed right here. And on this wedge, uh, let me get rid of these stop loss lines. So there you go. So I've got this wedge right here. I see this wedge. I see an A, one ABC, ABC, ABC. And now it is, it's, it's worth the very top of the C wave here. Uh, this was a pretty easy call in the four hour. I think I got on last night. It was late or early, depending on how you look at it. And I called this, uh, I called this actually this, uh, this golden cross right here. This, this had the possibility also to be a death cross. Uh, it turned out to be a golden cross, shot us to the moon, got a nice little scalp out of that. If anybody did play that as a scalp. I hope their indicator did a beastly little scalp. And yes, this does look just like a head and shoulders right here. I mean, if you take a look at this, we have formed quite a wicked little head and shoulders here. So let's... Right, and... So this thing is setting up for a nice wicked head and shoulders there is a little room to go up here so if this does go up it's got a little room to head up to this ma line right here that looks like my what do we got here that's the 200 day so the 200 day is right above it parked at 6671 so you've got a really wicked head and shoulders that's forming now if this is a head and shoulders on the four hour chart then you can look for a substantial break to the downside right here. All right. Um, I also see this as a, uh, a wedge pattern. Uh, so if you are in a wedge pattern, you're counting this as a wedge, as an ABCDE, this would have the E as the failure wave. All right. So here would be your failure wave to the E, and then it would drop down. So I do have this counted as an ABCDE also. Uh, there is a lot of support on the four hour chart under us. You still have all of the MAs under us on the four hour chart. Now, here's kind of a sign in four minutes and 41 seconds, we are going to close a shooting star candle. So, we had a shooting star candle. We then now made a shooting, a second. So, this is a shooting star candle. We then made this second uh, candle right here, which is a a shooting star doji candle 
and you can see here's a, a pretty good example of one, a couple of them, right? This was a doji, another another spinning top doji. This is a doji, 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 and it dumped out, right? This is more of a shooting star right here, and then it kind of petered along a second shooting star, a spinning top, and then it dumped, spinning top, dumped. So really good candle confirmations here. Here he goes, another uh, doji candle, dumped. Uh, dump. This is a good easy play. If you're playing the four hour and you're scalping the four hour, you could be making some mean scalps just playing the candles here. These are all really easy candles to read. Uh, once again, easy dump candle to call here. Dump. And here we are sitting up top. Now this is a pretty substantial candle. Uh, let's see how this thing closes out in three minutes, but this does look like a bearish candle right here. So it looks like we're forming, and it kind of looks like it's engulfing a little. So this does look like it's an engulfing candle also. It does look greater in both swings right there. So let's see how this candle plays out right here. This candle should play out pretty. Uh, um, this is a bullish looking candle, bearish looking candle to me right here. This is bearish looking Let's see how this plays out right here. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, uh, downward pressure from the uh, the bears over and over and over again. So when I look at this chart, I just this is what I see. Let me show you here. Let me shrink this down. So this is what I see. I see compression. So you see the bulls, what they do, they try to push up and you have this compression line that pushes back down, right? You see the force of the bulls pushing it up over candle over, over and over again and you have a consistent push back down. And the same here you see right here, this is a good, the bulls push up and you have, it's like a piston action and it keeps pushing it back down. So what's happening is I see lower, we are definitely creating lower highs here. We're not breaking over, and I think this is posted in my video last night, where the bears, where the bulls needed to break over, and they're just, they're not creating new higher highs. So they're coming down, they're losing strength right here. They're losing the momentum, and this is what's, this This is this pressure, it's like a, a, a pressure that just, Keeps pushing them down over and over and over. Uh, let's take a look at the four-hour head and shoulders with now and with April. Yeah, so April was... Now, there's a big difference between April. Peak is on right there. Hey, Peak, what's going on? Uh, Peak is one of our uh, super amazing guys in our paid area. He's a super beast. So let's go back here to April. So there is a there's a pretty drastic difference between what happened then and what happened now. At this point here, we were so over leveraged with our short positions, and we can pull that chart up. Well, let's do this. Let's pull this. Give me the shorts. So here we have our short versus long positions. Right, and let me do this. Let's move this up. And all right, so here we go. Let's take a look. So here was April right here. There's April right here. So here's April right here. And what happened is we came down and we were super, super over leveraged on the shorts. So these are the these are your shorts, your RSI. This is actually, sorry, this is the, these are your shorts. And we are right, here's April right here. This is April, April 6th, so that's the 3rd, the 29th. There's April 1st. So let's scoot ourselves over. Where are we here? This is, there's April 12th. So remember, we have the 12th is a significant date, the 8th to the 12th. And we are, there's the 6th right there. So let's move this line over to the 6th. And see if that lines up. It's tough because I got... 
there we go so there we go so there's the sixth and let's snap a line on here for the sixth so everybody can see a good correlation okay so there we go so as you can see our our at this point our we were super super over leveraged on our short plays our shorts were through the moon look at this they were actually up there almost at the same level as our longs at the time then we had the short squeeze position the short squeeze position just snapped us off uh, this is the RSI tracking on the long chart I also have the RSI tracking on the shorts so we did snap now what is happening here is we are in the exact opposite situation right so I'm going to put this chart here I'm going to put this chart here. So we are in the exact opposite situation right now. So here is the long chart RSI back in April. And you see it was, it was kind of high. I mean, it was a little bit up there, right? And then here is the short chart. And we're going to scoot this over to the 6th to the 6th. So if you look right here, look at how look at where the RSI was for the short squeeze on the 6th in April. Right? And let's take a look at where we are right now with the longs. We are completely the opposite with the longs. Here's where we are today. So now we have reversed the situation. We're completely reversed in the scenario with the longs to short pull. So we have our longs in the danger zone. And back in April, we had our shorts in the danger zone on the RSI chart. So we really need to make sure that we are watching this because this is dangerous. This look what happened last time. Here you go. Here it again. Look at the shorts. The shorts got snapped. Now, this was shorts taking profit. This is not a short squeeze. This is shorts in a, this is a short squeeze right here. This was the shorts getting snapped. This was ugly. Uh, a lot of people got trapped in this. We are now in the same situation, in the same danger point with the longs. So henceforth, why I'm more comfortable in a short right now, even if I got stomped out, I understand that the whales like to hunt the minnows and they like to take all of our money. So what you have, what you're, what you're looking at right now is these longs are through the roof. This is exactly today. This is where we're at. The longs are super high. The shorts are low. And right now, if I was a whale and I was out trying to take our money, I would be trying to snap all the longs right here's the RSI chart today on the shorts it is all the way down here at the bottom it is there's no confidence in the shorts right now very low volume in the shorts everybody thinks this is going to take off and here is where the longs are all the longs are have all the confidence in the world thinking this is going to take off now will this take off uh, I'm not quite sure right now but it is possible you know so that goes back to, uh, so we go over here. So we're going to go back to the most critical chart we have. And that critical chart we have is the one day chart, right? So here's our daily chart. Like I said, we are four hours. There is no reason for anybody to be in this trade right here. There's just no reason. This chart is very dangerous. So as I come up here, I mean, I see a spinning top, uh, no idea, a spinning top, a second spinning top. It, it's just, this is just so dangerous right here. I, 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 I mean, this is very bearish. Look, hanging man spinning top dump, right? This is, a, you were creating a spinning top followed by spinning top, spinning top, spinning top, spinning top. It's just like... It's just a dangerous area right now to be trading. You know, these spinning tops just seem to be wicked and making the calls for reversals. Now, I know a lot of people, I see all the longs that are hedged out there. But I, I, I'm just a little bit, 
I'm in a place where I'm betting against the longs right here. I really am. Hey, and it's okay. It, it, I understand what I'm doing, and I, I feel that if if we do snap my stop loss, it's okay. I hop out. I, I look. I reassess, and I'll jump back into the trade. Listen, if we snap up, we can have a 30-day run here. You know, we see what the trend does. And you don't have to FOMO into this position because we, we see historically the real takeoff, the real launch doesn't happen to the 12th. So literally, you guys could just stop trading today, you know, just sit on the sidelines, wait for the 10th, uh, wait for the 9th or 10th, come back, see where we're at. You know, you can wait till right over here. Here's the 9th. Wait till over here. This This cross would have already played out. It would have given us a very good layup position for the next trade, right? We could actually see what direction this went. Then you can safely jump into this trade over here. Remember, this is not about everybody. We do not have to. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to go the manly he-man route here. With the, uh, you know, you can play this safely. The whole key to winning in this long game, and this is a marathon, is for us to trade safely, to trade those layup trades, the easy ones. And I, I do recommend that people sit this out, let this take hold, because you're not going to miss. You're not going to FOMO. Don't FOMO. Like, if you want to play this, play it small. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to play this position, I personally would recommend playing this with a small position and... You know, you can have some great gains either way, either way. This could break either way still. The day is not over, right? And this is looking, this is looking, it, it's crazy because the candles look bearish, but the position that we're in right now looks like this is going to break as a golden cross. So this clearly looks like it's going to break under, okay? Uh, let's go to our other indicators. Let's pull up our bubble charts. So now, once again, kind of mixed signals on the bubble charts here. So this one is just telling us I'm rolling over, and when I roll over, every time I roll over, it's bad. You know, every time this thing rolls over, it's just not good. Every time this thing rolls over, here's a rollover. This is bad. Here's a rollover. This is bad. Here's a rollover. Here's a rollover. I mean, this is just, these are not good signs of rolling over, right? Every one of these rollovers is a bad rollover. There's no good rollovers here. You know, this rolls over and then it just tanks, right? So this chart right here is telling us that this is going to roll over. And I just, I, I don't know, you know, this is, you know, could this roll back up all of a sudden? Yeah, let's, let's zoom in here. Let's get a really close look. I mean, it's trying. Look at that. It is trying so hard to not roll over here. It really is. This is danger. So I've got this listed. I'm going to leave this up here. Danger. If this rolls over, this is going south. You know, and I don't like the fact if people are really bullish here, like I, I would be more bullish down at the bottom here. I would be more bullish lower. I don't like being up here and being super bullish. You know? I don't like being up here and being super bullish. Can we get one more bounce up? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This could... Look at... Here you go. Look at this. This came down, bounced off the pink zone, ricocheted back up a couple times. You know, the pink zone has a lot of confluence on it. There's a lot of touches. There's a lot of signs that this, this line has, you know, has historic significance to it. And we're on it. We're, we're, we're right on it. And that's what makes it super just crazy. All right, let's pull this back over. Let's go back here. All right. Let's I put it in nice big letters. 
All right, so here we go. Here's our, this is our RSI chart. Now this purple zone, man, just, I, I don't, there's, I, I need to widen this up a little bit because this purple zone definitely has a lot of play in it. All right, there's definitely a lot of play, a lot of bouncing going on in this area right here. You can see it in its it's a swing zone. There's some kind of a and you know what? It's funny because it's it's like the kryptonite zone, and this might be like our RSI kryptonite zone right here. We might have like this channel of just like we do on the uh, price action to where we have this crazy kind of kryptonite zone like right in here where you see this all this action take place it's a lot of action in this area so look at uh, bang 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 this one this one touched it touched the bottom of it touched it touched it touched it you know there's a lot of this is just there's a lot of a lot of support and resistance in this area right here and and on the resistance you know we're in the 50 range right here and like I said we need to be over 50 to be bullish if you go back historically to 2015 we see that we went up to 54 RSI 55 57 RSI and then we tanked over it that was back in that's historically back in 2017 uh, 2017 and 2016 we got up we just toyed with the uh, the 50 zone and then we just dumped right out okay uh, our bit stamp chart telling us the same thing let's go down to the 12 hour chart here 12 hour chart trying to close out an inverted hammer <sighs> is that a shooting star because it's at the top of a trend so our trend did was here is this gonna is this a shooting star candle is this an inverted hammer candle you know if we drop down lower here if we drop down we get below 65 47 this is gonna turn this into a pretty wicked I mean look at this this would turn this into a pretty crazy area right here because you'd have Mm, hold on a second, get rid of this one. And remove. Pull this up. So look what happened here. You have this going on. And you have this going on. So you've got the downward pressure and you've got the upward pressure and these candles right here. In fact, all of these candles, look, the same thing happened here. You had the action on this candle right here. You had this massive down force right here on this 12 hour candle, right? And, and this is, we're squeezing, we're squeezing the price. This is just winding up like a spring and this thing is gonna pop, right? You know, no different than here. So winding, this is just like compressing a spring. This looks like a compressed spring right here, right? Here's, this is a lot of energy built up, and then this thing just popped. And the, the difference is this, we're compressing this area right here, and the to make this all the worse, you're compressing it also inside of the, uh, the daily uh, RSI. Look here, we are compressing this between the 50 and the 30. So all this action was kind of being compressed between these two MAs as they're squeezing down. And I see the same thing happening here. The only difference is now there's more support below it. So on the 12 hour, we have lots of support below us. On the four hour, we have lots of support below us. And on the uh, daily, we're, we're trapped in that squeeze and that daily squeeze right here. You know, once again, I mean, there's just this is this is what I'm this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a a dangerous trade area. I wish I could call layup here. If this was any other situation where we didn't have this squeeze going on, I would be calling a heavy duty short. Okay, 
I would really be called, this would be a shorting, this would be an easy short call. Uh, the issue is we're sitting on top of the kryptonite zone, right? The 6450 is below us, so the kryptonite zone is right here. And this is a lot of support right here. There's a lot of support underneath us here. You know, it's just going to see how, let's just let this play out, all right? We don't have to FOMO into this. We don't have to go and do anything crazy. Like, feel free to play a small position. Because I, I feel that even playing a small position, it, it can be a very, you could have a great risk to reward playing a small position right here. All right, let's take a couple questions really quick. I'm trying to keep these videos short. Uh, thoughts on the weekly? Let's go take a look. You know, we're still a long way out from closing the weekly. Can't. Let's go look at the three-day real quick. Let's take a look at three-day. Um, you know, let's look at this three-day here. Let's take a look at three-day action. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. <sighs> you know... So we're on a green two. This looks like a rising wedge. It's trying to create a rising wedge here. Let's take a look at the daily. A kind of a rising wedge, kind of a falling wedge. Once it, you know, it's this is a tough. These are these are tough charts to play right here. You know, I don't see any significant rising or falling wedges. I mean, on the four hour, you've got a rising wedge that could fall out. You know, this candle right here just was, I mean, I didn't see this as, I don't see this as a bullish candle. This is a bearish candle to me. It's a very bearish candle. See, here's, here's the last time. It just kind of came up and then just tanked, right? Let's go back to this, check out the weekly here. Uh, oh, give me one second. Let me adjust this here. Let me move this. Let's go back to the weekly. Let me zoom out. I would say a neutral to bullish candle on the weekly. We still haven't closed it out yet. Uh, we're still sitting on a red eight. It would be really nice to get to a red nine on the weekly. Uh, that would be great. We do have a lot of resistance on the top side right here. Uh, 67, 66. Uh, and my doorbell is ringing for some reason. And a rental house. Hold on a second. All right, everybody. So I got the Oompa Loompa showing up here. It's dad time again. So it's that time, everyone. And uh, let's check back in a couple hours and we'll see what's going on. Uh, like I said, the weekly not showing me anything. So let's, uh, we'll probably do another broadcast again in about um, four hours once this candle closes. I'll be back on and I'll do a live update for the candle closing. Thank you.